Hi, hi everyone. Okay, I am waiting for um, the wheel to stop turning because per usual, I never know when I actually am live or not. Um, I am now live, okay. Live for that whole minute and so beforehand. And then um, uh, you guys don't see that who's watching live until you watch the video before, or maybe not. I'm, I'm confused. I don't know how Facebook works sometimes. Hi, my love. Hi, Julia. Hi, Emma. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Megan. Hi, Dina. Um, hi, Veronica. Hi. Okay, for those of you who only know me on Facebook, right now on Twitter, I've been doing... <sighs> What possessed me to do this? I have no idea. But I'm loving it because I'm loving everyone's reactions to it. I am uh, tweeting a few fans who have tweeted me screenshots of them pre-saving my new song, Dance With You, which we will get to in a second. I'm tweeting them videos of either me telling a joke or me doing a dance move. Um, my place is a bit crazy right now. So finding a proper... Um, angle to do a dance move has been challenging to say the least but we're doing it I'm excited I'm very into doing it especially because the song that I have is called dance with you which we gotta talk about Facebook fam <laughs> um yes the alliteration I didn't even know what was gonna come out of my mouth I feel like the reaction I just had um supports that <laughs> statement um I have not posted on here in such a long time. I'm so sorry. There are so many things I need to post about my new movie, The Royal Treatment, which is coming on Netflix January 20th, which I'm very excited about. My new song, Dance With You, which will be in The Royal Treatment. It's in the uh, last scene in the end credits. Um, that is coming out New Year's Eve. And uh, that's all I can tell you right now. There's going to be a, a little, um, another surprise that... Um, I'm gonna tell you in January so we'll just we'll just wait for a sec but I am so excited I am so sorry I've been so slow to post here um, I don't have the Facebook app on my iPad or iPhone which I probably should get so that's why everything is so much easier because I only do Facebook on my computer. Because I'm 79. I'm so excited for the Royal Treatment too, Veronica. Well, anyone who's here who hasn't been following me on any of my other socials, I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of Dance With You. And, you know, I'm like, maybe I play a part of the song no one has heard yet. Maybe I play a part of the song everyone has been hearing. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start earlier in the second verse, which Michael from Grey is singing. I did the song with Grey, Michael and Kyle, who are so talented. I was like so starstruck to work with them. They've done Maren Morris's The Middle. They did Haley Steinfeld's Starving. They are so freakishly talented. So I'm so freaking excited to have me on my profile after I do this Facebook Live. But I'm so excited. Okay. Um, one thing I want to point out, because I've seen a lot of comments about this on TikTok, of ever a lot of people have been like, uh, this sounds similar to Whitney Houston's I want to dance with somebody. Like, I don't know if you know this. I totally know that. I totally know. That is on purpose. Uh, basically, uh, God, where, where do I start with this story? Well, I knew I wanted to do a song for the royal treatment. Um, and so... There's kind of like a, a dance moment in it. And I was like trying to figure out what to write and what to work on. And it just so happens that someone on my team uh, knows and reps the two original writers who wrote, I want to dance with somebody. And I was like, what, really? Can I meet them? Can we talk? George and Shannon, who are an absolute rock star team. They are rock stars. They still release music, by the way, Boy Meets Girl. You guys should check it out. And... I worked on the song with them and a few other people uh, and we wrote it for the movie and I'm so proud of it and happy about it. I literally was also, this whole song experience has just been a compilation of me being extremely starstruck most of the time. Um, and so I 
I was so starstruck to work with them because they literally obviously wrote one of the most spectacular songs of all time. I Want to Dance with Somebody is one of my favorite songs. So to be able to interpolate it and use it in this song is very cool and very, very excited that they were into it and happy about it as well. So I'm so excited for you guys to hear the song in its full version um, on New Year's Eve. I have a whole plan of activities that day. So get ready because I'm telling you this right now, I think I'm going to do a a 12 hour, <laughs> a 12 hour uh, countdown to the new year, starting at 12 p.m. PST on New Year's Eve. 12 hours of dance with you. Um, I'm still figuring out what all those activities are gonna be. Definitely a few Instagram lives, maybe a couple Facebook lives, we'll see. I'm also at my parents' place that day and I'm really excited to see how the Wi-Fi is gonna work. Okay. So Dance With You, have talked a bit about that. That's going on New Year's Eve, pre-save now. Um, but I also am in a new movie called The Royal Treatment, which is gonna be on Netflix on January 20th, which I am so excited about. I feel that I have been talking about this movie literally for months, maybe even years, because I remember I was giving hints about it before it was officially announced. Um, and the fact that it's done and you guys get to see it, oh, is the best feeling ever. I produced it with my mom and sister and a wonderful New Zealand woman named Chloe Smith. I'm so proud of it. It is so sweet and so cute. And I definitely hope and think it's gonna make a lot of you guys happy watching it, which is definitely the goal of the movie. Um, Mina Masood stars in it with me. He is a gem of a human and a man. So talented, so sweet, so lovely, just in all senses of the word. So I'm so excited that the rest of the cast is all people from New Zealand who are so good and so wonderful as well. It was really cool. You know, someone in um, New Zealand was telling me that usually a lot of American productions or international productions that come in New Zealand, most of the cast is usually not from New Zealand and New Zealand actors maybe get like one or two, maybe I'm exaggerating, but a, a couple of the smaller parts. So I'm really proud that a lot of our movies cast is wonderful, wonderful New Zealand actors and Kiwis. It was so amazing filming there. I miss it. I love it there. I love how it looks in our movie. Our movie takes place most of it in a made up country as, um, Netflix royal films usually do um and so I I it's been fun um showing the movie to a few people and we're like where is this country supposed to be I'm like that's the magic of it uh so I'm really excited for you guys to watch it um okay let me look at a few ooh Haman Shushaw, you came at the right moment. The movie is called The Royal Treatment and it's coming out January 20th. So very, very excited. Um, Megan Thorson, you mentioned Mina as a gem and I'm thinking Diamond in the Rough from Aladdin. Ah, uh, how good is Aladdin? And how good is Mina in Aladdin? And how good is just, ah, uh, love me some Aladdin. Um, yes, the Diamond in the Rough reference. Um, Oh, Sierra, I never joined Facebook Lives. This is so much different than Insta, LOL. It's funny. Well, it's definitely different for me on my angle because it's on my computer. There is so much happening in in this, um, this screen for sure, uh, which is very exciting um, and intense. I did a, uh, oh, Dylan, I originally saw you in Road Chip. The chipmunk movie. Oh, that was my first time ever in Atlanta, Georgia, filming that and filmed it. It was so fun. I was only there for a day because it's a pretty small part. Um, it was a little cameo and I actually lost my phone after I was done filming and I had a flip phone and I, I think it actually dropped if I remember correctly. Um, when I was going out of my trailer and it dropped like in between the two trailers. It was bizarre, but I found it and that was great. But it was so um, embarrassing and slightly awkward because everyone was like, goodbye, oh, this was so fun. I'm like, this is so fun, love you guys, goodbye, I'm leaving. And then I stayed on set for 
like 30 more minutes looking for my phone and not asking anybody because I was too embarrassed. So I was just trying to hide and look for my phone and um, I found it. So that's the good news, but it was really, really fun. Um, Gabriel Santos movies. Um, I love Moulin Rouge. I'm going to say a few new ones because you've heard, you've heard a few of the same ones for me a bit. Um, I love Promising Young Woman. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It is so good. I make everyone watch it. Who, <laughs> If I'm hanging out with someone and they're wanting to watch a movie, we're wanting to watch a movie together. Uh, it truly is uh, a movie where I'm like, we have to watch it. And everyone always wants to watch it, but they're not totally sure. They think, you know, it's one of those movies that's, you know, gonna be slow or this. It's so good. I cannot speak enough good things about it. It is so good. Um, it's definitely dark, but it's very, very good. Um, what's another movie I love? I love The Frickin' Holiday. What a movie. Watched that recently. Could be one of my favorite movies, to be honest. Just brings so much happiness and joy into my soul. Um, Okay, Harley Glick, did you wish Ross a happy birthday? I did. I didn't wish him on social media yet, but I texted him a few hours ago. Then um, we had a few texts going in the group chat all for his birthday. So yes, he is 26, and I can't believe we're 26 now. That is bizarre. I, I don't understand time. I do, but do I? I don't know. Um, Esther Sharp, do I miss the cast of Austin Alley? So much. I cannot wait to see them at one point. Actually, randomly, because I miss the crew as well, I was grocery shopping a few days ago, and the makeup artist from Austin Alley was there, and I didn't realize she lived in that area, and I recognized her with her mask on, which I was both impressed and a little, uh, frightened that my eyes have adjusted so well. I hadn't seen her in years and I knew, I was like, that's Wendy. I know that's Wendy. And so I was like, but you know, you didn't totally know. So I did that thing where you call someone's name, but you look away in case, you know, it's not them and other people look at why you call them. It's normal. Most people do that, right? So I was like, Wendy. Um, and she turned around and I was like, it's me. And so we didn't hug, but wanted to hug and it was really good to see her, so. Uh, Becca May, we do stand makeup artists. We do. John Preston, where can I see the new song? Um, you can listen to it this Friday on New Year's Eve and pre-save it. Man, I definitely should have had the pre-save link ready to go. <laughs> um, but it's gonna all be on my profile literally in a few minutes after I end this live. Uh, Miriam, I love you! Oh, wait, your comment just disappeared. Oh, here we go. Happy almost new year. I can't believe we're going into 2022 as well. That is ah crazy. I don't know how, how are, how is everyone feeling? Are you ready for 2022? Because I am so excited for it um, and so ready for it, but also uh, a little overwhelmed already by the end of 2021. So I hope everyone is feeling good and ready for 2022 and continuing to be safe, uh, but just ready for our emotional and mental being. I, I'm ready for it, but yeah, 2021 is definitely ending on a note of a lot happening. Um, not just personally, but like around the world, I feel. Uh, <laughs> Someone just asked a question I do not understand. I read it like three different times. I'm like, wait, hold on. Uh, Maureen, heck yes, so ready. Yay! I'm so happy you're ready. Inez, do you have any new projects coming in 2022? Definitely a few things I'm working on. Nothing I can talk about yet um, for both music and acting. So uh, we'll see how everything pans out, but definitely have an, an exciting announcement for music that will be coming that I've been talking about a lot. I'm trying to, I don't want you guys to hear that and be like, oh, she's, I don't know why I became a witch, but um, I've talked about it a bunch and the announcement will finally come about something for music, which I'm very excited about. Um, thank you, wait, Megan. Thank you, Meg. Okay, I'm pinning 
Meg's comment for anyone who wants to pre-save dance with you, you can do it right now in the pinned comment. Thank you, Meg. Yes, got me covered. Um, I love you all so much. Veronica, in 2022, it'll be nine years since I've met you. Ah, oh, that is insane. Nine years? I still can't believe it's been 10 years since the Austin and Allie, um first episode. That is crazy. Uh, by the way, I just do want to say this in case anyone... Oh, my hair is so crazy. Um, in case anyone thought differently, a few people were like, it's been 10 years since the last episode of Austin Alley. And I definitely want to clarify that. That is not true. Um, let's calm down here a little bit. It's been 10 years since the first episode of Austin Alley, which aired December 2nd and then another one December 4th. So um, let's, I was like, I saw that comment. And I was like, saw it three different times. And I was like, wait, it has not been that long since the last episode. It has been a few years though, which is pretty crazy. I love you all so much. I'm so excited for all of these things that are happening. Um, but I really, most importantly, I'm hoping that everyone is staying safe and happy and healthy. I love you all so much. This year went by so fast. I cannot believe it's done. For me personally, it was a year of uh, a lot of amazing highs, a lot of amazing lows, which I guess you could say about a lot of years, but this year it felt a bit, for me personally, more intense. Um, and it also felt different than 2020, but also felt like an extension of 2020. So I have no idea what 2022 is going to feel like, but I'm excited to start January with a lot of stuff for you and a lot of um, uh, social media I'm going to be doing. Uh, I mean, I, I, I will always be doing social media, but I feel like when there is something other than social media that there's something like a product or a show or a movie or a song actually coming out. Um, it feels like I'm not just like aimlessly being like, la, 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 la. Um, so I'm just excited for all of this stuff for you guys. I know you have been so patient and so wonderful waiting for things, especially on the acting side. Though I will say, how did a movie come out in 2020? So this was the first year in a few years where I didn't have something come out, but I'm excited. We're starting 22 with it. So I can't wait for you guys to watch the Royal Treatment. You know, one last thing, I have a New York accent in the Royal Treatment. And I think for some of my hardcore fans, especially if you're American or on the East Coast, though I've had a lot of uh, people, my family included, and some friends tell me very positive things about the accent, which I appreciate it. Um, but I think it's gonna be hard for you guys to hear me with a voice that is not this. I know for me, whenever I watch actors um, do an accent that I'm not used to, it kind of takes me a second. So I'm really excited slash nervous to see how everyone takes it. My thought is for me personally, and for me in this movie, I'm a little biased because it's for me. Um, it definitely took like the first third of the movie to be like, wait, okay, okay, okay. And then, I think as the movie goes on, you kind of forget about it. But I'm very, very excited for you guys to see the world treatment in general. I am very proud of it and I love it. And Izzy's awesome. Um, she's She is a really fun character that I got to play, which I'm excited. I haven't played a character like her before, really. Um, and I really identified with her and we based her off of my you know, not her particularly, but that family based on my Italian family in New York and in the Bronx. Um, it doesn't really necessarily take place in the Bronx. The majority of it takes place in Lavania, um, with a few places in the like Italian esque neighborhood of New York, um, which there's a few, but I'm so happy and proud of it. And I can't wait for you to see it. Okay. I, Love you all so much. Okay, wait, someone just said, what about the Zoom crashing? Because I'm going to be doing a few, oh, I hate when I go down and then I can't mm, Facebook Live. Um, I am doing some Zoom crashings on Friday. I have so many activities planned for you. I have a streaming party. I have some Instagram Lives, some Lives in general. Um, and some Zoom crashing. So I'm still figuring out that schedule because I'm coming up with something to do every hour for 12 hours on Friday. Get ready. Um, it's going to be a lot. 
but I will get all that information to you. I promise. I think tomorrow we will, we will say that. So, okay. I love you all very much. Have such a safe new year. Please, you know, really take care of yourself um, and know how amazing you are. And if you guys had a hard year, it's going to be a new year and we got this. We're going to rock it out. If you had a great year, let's just keep it going. Um, and just know that I love you all so much. And I'm about to post a lot on Facebook in the next few minutes. So get ready. I love you. Okay. And bye.